بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم نبدا اول دروس المصريه الدوليه اونلاين لماده الساينس In unit two, we are going to study about force and motion. And now we should make some revision and talk about fundamental forces. By the way, what's force? Of course, we can define the force as it is an effect attempts to change the object phase from being static to motion or vice versa or attempt to change the motion direction now can you imagine how many types of fundamental force in nature yes of course there are three types gravitational force and electromagnetic force nuclear force and by the way nuclear force can be classified into two types strong and weak nucleus force we can classify force into three types attraction force or gravitational force and electromagnetic force and nuclear force now we can test how the earth attracts object by show the earth the gravity force on object if you put a set of objects of different masses one kilo and five kilos or even ten kilos on the ground then try to lift them what you found of course the work done to lift objects increase when its masses increase so we can conclude that the exert work to lift an object increase when its masses becomes of course larger so Earth attract object to its center by force, known by as object weight. This force increase when the object mass becomes larger. Now, can we define the weight of object? Of course, it's the force which attract object to Earth, to Earth, to the center and we can determine weights by multiply the mass of this object to the gravity acceleration so w equal m time g now someone tell me what's meant by object weight of course that's right it's the earth ability to attract objects and it measured by newton so now you know how to determine the weight let's see calculate the weight of object if its mass equal 100 kilogram if the earth gravity acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square so the given is the mass equal 100 kilogram and the acceleration of gravity equal 9.8 meter per second square so if w equal m time g so 100 times 9.8 equal 980 newton of course that's right Thank you for listening. See you in the next lesson.